When I was in high school, I remember being counseled by my mom that, oh, so you want to be a scientist. She just tried to prepare me, I think, for disappointment. But I loved science. I was a scientist at Harvard when I noticed a little paper on the bulletin board asking if anyone would be interested in living underwater as a scientist for two weeks. It was very clear that no one expected women to apply, but some of us did. James Miller, who was head of the program, I think he had a good marriage. I know he did, and a good relationship with his mom because his reaction was, well, half the fish are female. I guess we could put up with a few women. The men they called aquanauts. The women, oh, uh, not so much. We were aqua babes, we were aqua chicks, we were aqua naughties. <laughs> Ironically, these aquanauts are not men with extraordinary physical endurance and stamina, but five young and attractive women the world's first real-life mermaids. They wanted to know things like, well, did you use a hair dryer? Did you wear lipstick? But we used that opening to be able to try to explain the nature of the ocean, how beautiful it is, how vulnerable it is. For me as a professional scientist, I found it always to be a juggling match. In fact, it took me 10 years to earn my PhD because I got married and had two children along the way. It's been a repeated thing. I missed some of the occasions that probably were really meaningful to my children. But at the same time, I was able to give my kids special opportunities to scoop them up when I could and take them to swim with dolphins or to swim with whales. I really come to speak for the ocean. Men are expected to be leaders. But women, intellectually, are every bit as confident as their male counterparts. It isn't a matter of how rough and tough you are, or whether or not you can grow a beard. <laughs> it is, can you do the job? I think that the time has just come when the confidence of women as doctors, as lawyers, as scientists, has made its mark enough times in enough places with enough power to finally break through.